tiny, she was tiny young. And the way she speaks, it was like this. Because I'm so afraid. So, what? And then people in the back, of them, can you imagine a class for 70, 80 people, this room, and people are going, the people who wrote on the walls, by the way. And, uh, and so as a result, they, they kind of, was trying to figure out how the hell is Mel going to make her become a powerful speaker. Guess what? We did a few things with her. We expanded her vocal capacity. We asked her to teach one or two programs. Before you know it, she started a company with those five others. An amazing job. And she's one of their regular speakers. And her voice is no longer so. She's projecting because she's practiced all this. Hey, he, hi, hope you. Hi, how are you? Boom. Uh, we'll go through voice projection a little bit because we need to do some exercises because we have plenty of time to do this. But um, I need you to oppose that idea, you know, the idea that I talked about voice projection is necessary and if you don't have voice projection, you won't conduct a seminar that people want to listen to. Somebody oppose me, just be difficult. <coughs> this present world, we have enough 